Okay, it's back up. Nice, okay. So basically on the stream, I think we uh, came back up right as challengers just aced freaking supreme. Rest in peace. They got like maybe half of that fight. It's still rest in peace, man. Yeah. Supreme had a really good lead and now they're slowly losing it. Which is just because like Team Challengers is a lot of late game. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, did you hear what I said earlier where if you want to see like total and current gold, you hit X? Oh, yeah. Like, got it. Switches it. it. I guess like that way, if case you want to show them, I think that's kind of something cool they would probably want to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cho'Gath almost stopped Kane's backing, but he could not, sadly. Yeah, Teemo got Rift Herald and they tried to push mid, but they weren't able to do. They didn't have enough power to push with Herald. Herald just kind of went in on his own. Rakan trying some risky stuff right there. Using his long Zaya dash to try to grab a W. Which would have been smart if it hit. But also still a little bit risky since Tower's still there. Ooh, Fizz grab- No! <laughs> Rakan, what are you doing? Rakan just pulled the Fizz ult to his team. It only caught Rakan, but that could have been really dangerous. Either way, Ian- I mean, Karthus dies. Kog'Ma is getting really strong. Yeah, Kog'Ma is starting to kind of, like, spike in power. He just shreds Zaya there with almost little to no help. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Lulu gave him a shield, but- his damage just going through the roof. I don't know, Team Supreme had a good lead, but I think they're just starting to lose it. Yeah. Which sucks, because that would have been a very, you know, good win for them. But Kog'Maw is just so powerful right now. And Kane went Master Assassin instead of, uh, Tarkin. Which is interesting. A lot more mobility, but less, uh, sustainability. This might be able to... Ooh, Timo goes invisible right as, yeah. right as Fizz walks in the bush. That was sketchy. That's sketchy. <laughs> That's kind of scary. He, Fizz knows. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, Fizz knows. Oh, no. Fizz takes down Timo. He just knew. Scary moments. Yeah. Let's see if Rakan and uh, Cho'Gath can grab anything here. They try. Cho'Gath goes in, but he just doesn't deal that a lot of damage. And Rakan uses... Uh, not Rakan. I'm such a fool. Can Cho'Gath get anything here? No, he cannot. Uh, Cho'Gath just risks Karthus his life. Might be Maybe Karthus. No. Yeah, the shield. Lulu walked in with that clutch shield. Is that a Teemo main? <laughs> Says Akali. Yeah. I mean, Teemo's still 5 and 2 with the farm lead over Akali, but it's just not enough. Fizz is 5 and 1. Wow. That almost happened out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't know what happened in like seven minutes, so. <laughs> uh, basically, it was a gank on Teemo top, but he survived, and then a, game, a gank on Kane, and he survived, which was interesting because there were three people, including Karthus and Cho'Gath. I don't remember who the other one was. But it was like, I think a team fight over by Dragon, which challengers won. Uh, Karthus died two, three times while you were gone. <laughs> oh, you know, okay. It was a bad situation. So they're going for that Wind Dragon right now for some mobility, which would be extremely good for Kane and Akali since they're both pretty much assassins. Teemo and Akali are fighting right now over my Baron Pit, but will Teemo be able to survive? I do not know. Akali deals good damage, and Teemo's just dealing peanut damage. But Cho'Gath appears to save the day. Will he be able to, though? Because Luna coming in with the Flash ult. The Clutch's ult. But Akali sadly still dies. Ooh, that Fizz ultimate was nice. If only Zaya didn't have her ultimate to pretty much counter it. Rakan going in to just end Fizz's life. Kane destroying Teemo in one swift hit. Going for Zaya, and he takes her down. All that's left is Cho'Gath, but he gets some help. Ah, he gets some help from Rakan, and Rakan is ballsy right now. 
costing him his life. But Cho'Gath tries his best. Karthus comes in for the clean sweep. That was a roller coaster of emotions that I'm totally not faking right now. Kogwa is getting the inhib though. <laughs> It was a good, uh, it was a good distraction, and Kogma just keeps flashing tier 5 mastery. Sadly, he is not tier 7, so he's still considered a scrub. 1v3 in Kogma. Kogma's surviving a lot longer than I expected, and he is pretty much just getting kills and failing a flash. Everyone saw that. I'm sorry, Benhang. <laughs> he wants to kill himself. <laughs> yeah. I would be the same. I would be the same. Sim. Resident sleeper, though. It's good that Timo did well against the Akali, though. But I don't Early. know. Early. See, yeah. the thing is, though, Akali, Akali's reached that point where she can... Oh, she also bought um, Adaptive Helm. Yeah. Which is, I think, extremely good against Timo since he basically spams one ability. Yeah. Plus poison. Uh, poison counts as an ability, so it reduces the damage taken by poison. Really? Well, his E. The bonus damage from his E. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Timo's... Timo was just trying to fight Kane, but he cannot, because Kane just deals tons of damage. I think he cancelled a lot of autos there, though. The True. Timo, yeah. Maybe by, I, would, I would assume mostly by accident. Rakan is just taking fights whenever he can. Oh, will they be able to take Kane's life? Probably not. It kind of looked like Rakan had uh, Lulu's ult there for a second. Karthus <laughs> does kill Kane. What is Karthus going to do here? He is just rooted in place. He can't really do much because I think that's out of his range. He ults. It does good damage, but I don't know if it's going to be able to change the fight here. Because Fizz comes in for the cleanup. That was beautiful. That was very clean. Very clean. Maybe... I think he just did the... Rak I think he ulted Rakan just to keep him from running too far. I don't know if he suspected the ult to kill him outright. Mm-hmm. But either way, it played out in their favor because he got both of them at the same time. Thus, they were just able to take the tower. Right. Team Supreme is just trying to hold off, but I don't know if they'll be able to. Oh, they try to. They, oh, they're going on Lulu though. Will they be able to kill her? She's extremely slow right now, but she does have shields. Oh, could Shogath go in for that consume? But I don't think he's gonna be able to catch up. Oh, uh, she's just way too fast. Way too fast for Shogath, who doesn't even have boots. For shame, Shogath no boots. Yeah. Uh, Kogma is just taking that red buff from them. Kogma is shredding through them. Mm hmm. I think uh, Team Challenger pretty much has full control of the map right now. Yeah. I don't think Cause... Team Supreme can really leave their base, honestly. It's too many minions and no vision. Right. So, like, they could, but it'd be somewhat risky. They could try to take kills, but the thing is, like, the only one that deals considerable amounts of damage is... It's actually kind of hard to tell which one of them deals considerable amounts of damage, because... Karthus? Um, maybe the most damage they have? Ooh, Karthus is probably going to get caught out here. He's trying to go for Lulu, the easier of the two kills. But because he's Karthus, his W still works even though he's a small little furry animal. Lulu is taking a lot of damage. She is a tanky person right now. That was... That was... Bad pretty... because... Rakan took the kill. They don't need yeah. the kills on Rakan. But like, when you think about it... Wow, that was a lot of damage she tanked. I'm, I'm actually surprised she was able to take that much damage. <laughs> going for another... Uh, they're going for another fight, but they are just dropping like flies because of Kog'Maw and Kane. No, See, I Fizz think that was, was Fizz, mostly. Well, Kog'Maw was from a distance. Oh, that's true, yeah. I didn't really see him. Like, yeah, he was pretty far off. But Kane, Kane, Kog'Maw, and Fizz all deal a lot of damage right now. Akali doesn't actually do that much damage, I'm surprised. She's just a little tanky. Right. But it, it's it's a, it's hard, because the only tank they have on their team is... uh The only tank Supreme has on their team is Choga. But he's a slow per He's slow, so it's not like he can really get in front of anyone. Oh, I just realized, Timo is 80. Wait. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why he doesn't do any damage with his Q. I was wondering. I don't know, when you think about it, going 80 Timo does make Adaptive Helm a little bit less useful for Akali. Right. Rakan just wasting his ult there. Well, not wasting. 
Yeah, wait. What's the what's the cooldown on Rakan's ult? I think it's really pretty short, right? Uh... Sixty seconds. Yeah. So actually, it's a sixty second ult, so we can use it somewhat freely. Yeah. But it, I mean, he tried, and he could have had it. But Kane is so mobile in a uh, Master Assassin. Yeah. Is that it's, Akali it's hard. gonna get cut out here? Nah, she's no. way too fast. Yeah. Fizz is also coming in. Team Supreme still doesn't have any vision. Report Kane. Kane keeps KSing me. Oh, the classic Fizz. 7 and 2. They're 2v1ing Baron right now. I think they might get it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. I think they have it. Yeah. If Lulu can keep, uh, keeping... Aw, oh, man. Actually, Kagma got really close to being dead there. Yeah, if not for Lulu, he would've been dead. And uh, yeah, maybe definitely. Barrier. He did burn Barrier there. Wow. Well, it is worth it. It is Baron. That could be the, uh, the final nail on the coffin. Right. Is that, I mean, with the minions and with just in general, like, power, I'm sure they could easily just push through. Right. If they focus correctly. Hmm. Timo did by a wit's end. So, I mean, he is trying to go a little bit hybrid, I think. I wonder if they're able to get the TF out for Ian. I wonder if he'll play TF. I really, I, I hope he will, honestly. I mean, it'd be interesting, but see, the thing is, like... I, I don't know. know if their Karth team has Karthus enough synergy is one of his, for it. Karthus is one of his good mains, I know. Like, he does considerably well on Karthus. And he hasn't been, do he hasn't been doing poorly this game, it's just... He can't Karthus, the only, the only thing he has when it but comes Karthus to... We're actually living through that. That is... I, I, I'm sitting here looking at Karthus, and Rakan is just being a god. Yeah. Rakan needs to back. <laughs> I agree. Rakan's items. He has Knight's Vowel. Gain 20 additional... Okay, yeah. He, okay, so we got, um... He got Knight's Vowel to pair with Zaya because it gives a lot of movement speed towards her. So he has a lot of mobility when being with Zaya, which is really good for him. Timo's right. very dangerous. Timo's basically, basically like, I live on the edge, and I just got hit. Run. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Getting bad. shredded. Oh my god, Cogwash is just murdering them everything. right now. That misses her all. That's so much damage. <laughs> From everyone, yeah. Oh, that's, that's so difficult for them to really fight through, because Kog'Maw can just fight from such a far distance. Kane gets up in their face, and with a slight bit of tank, it's just, it's... It's difficult for them to really get a good grasp on the fight. And they're right. just going to be taken down. Both in, both Nexus turrets are down. Rakan trying to do something to save the game, but I don't know what he's going to be able to do. Oh, Nexus is on half health. That is so many minions. They're, they're trying to fight off the champions, but those minions... Those minions are going to probably take down that Nexus. Oh, that Karth assault though. <laughs> and Timo pulling Kane into the inhib uh, into uh, the fountain, but it was not enough. The Nexus goes down due to all the minions. That so many minions. It's game one, two, Team D challengers. Rest in peace, Supreme. A good lead at the beginning, but it did not end well for them. Exactly. Hmm? Do you have any ibuprofen, like painkillers? I don't think so. Chris, you can't OD on painkillers. I'm not trying to. Like, Stop. Like, this shit's in the pain. We'll go buy some. <laughs> You tried. 80 Teemo against zero tanks. <laughs> I actually will admit, the Rakan did do really well. He was very mobile. Right. The only issue is, like, Rakan does kind of need his team. Because he doesn't have damage. He just has, like, a little bit of CC. And a high amount of mobility. So, like... It's respectable. This is... Wait, why was I just spazzing out? What's going on? Okay, there we go. I am very afraid for this next game. Me too. <laughs> afraid because I'm, I'm curious what the bands are going to be now that we've kind of seen a little bit more. But also because, like... Hmm. Hey, yeah, James. I'm just, I'm just, what's up? Do you play League? Do I play League? Yeah. I mean, not often. I play League every now and then. 
Yeah. It's more for fun than actually taking the game seriously. Because if you take the game seriously, that's when you become a toxic person that no one loves. Hey, I take the game seriously. Well, that's why you're a toxic person that no one loves. I'm... That's a lie! Is it truly? Yeah. Is it truly? Yeah. And to whoever was trying to, like, roast me, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> oh my god. Ian hears us. <laughs> Oh, I, I fucking I love Ian. He is he is. Ian was a woman. Hmm. Hmm. Was Mason the was Mason the guy who was super litty last week? Uh, what do you mean by litty? <laughs> like lit? Was he lit? I mean, Mason's the one who, like, when he laughs, sounds like a seagull, and he was gone for a good while cutting grass. Are you free tomorrow, James? I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. Depends on how I feel. Oh, okay. Seeing how the one person was like, does this person even play League? I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking that person doesn't want me to uh, commentate anymore, because he thinks I don't know what I'm doing, even though I could probably beat them in a 1v1. Uh, as they say, you know, talk shit, get hit. Thunk, thunk. And we are off. The Aatrox ban out of the gate. I guess that person really hates Aatrox? Yeah. I don't know. It's still- it's probably still a troll ban. Probably. I don't know, I feel like a good Aatrox could be a little scary. But like, you have to do a lot to be a scary Aatrox, I think. Right. Against most, like, meta top laners. I don't think anyone on their team plays Aatrox, though. Congratulations. Congratulations. I think they might focus the ADC a little bit more. I would feel so. That Cogmob was pretty much like the turning point of that game, I would say. Right. But Excalibur also has a really big ADC pool, so it's hard to ban him out. I would... Well, I mean, uh, any good person who plays League is going to have a big pool for any lane. Because, like, especially if they play in somewhat competitive fashion. Because okay. you have to be able Fair to enough. cover pretty much any situation. That's pretty much why I have, like, 20 people I'm reliably able to jungle with. Half of them are supposed to be mid laners. Shh. You mean Urgot? <laughs> I'm joking. Th that's a top laner. I, I was joking. But, like, that's why new, I have... New. I can pretty much jungle with, like, anyone. Uh, these all might be, uh, troll bands. From I don't. DJ, I mean, do you think that? Do you think the people who actually are like in the team are that confident in themselves? Yes. And they stole the team all. <laughs> Rest in peace. Teemo has been stolen from the Teemo main. What will this Teemo main try to do to counter that? I'm curious. What's the counter to Teemo nowadays? Is it still the usual? Probably. Like counters? no one plays Teemo. Well, I remember Kha'Zix was apparently a big counter to Teemo. Yeah, cause I guess anyone with no auto attacks is not- Oh! Is he playing TF? Oh, I'm really I'm excited. Curious. I'm I'm excited. If he, he is! Is he? Is oh, he? I hope he is. I, I hope he is. This is a stressful moment. <laughs> this is 
stressful for us. <laughs> Ian, what? please do it. Why should I? Oh no! Oh, oh no! Actually, I've never seen him play Zara. For all I know, he's a secret god. He's pretty good, I think. Which is interesting because I like I have mad respect for Zara players. Because, like, Zareth is not an extremely easy champion to play. He's... he's pretty you, good, Ian. I think. Fuck you, Ian. No, no. He's pretty good. But I think he's more comfortable with... Oh, uh, yeah, also, so. um... Mandy, I'd like you to know that my roommate and his girlfriend both agreed that I should be getting paid to shoutcast, but because I'm not a fucking asshole, I'm gonna say no and I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. I wouldn't give you money either way. Fuck you, Chris. I vote. You say I do it often now. I've only done it like three, four times, on a on a high school level League of Legends tournament, where like I have no idea what I'm doing because I don't know any of these people, and for the most part, I care like only slightly. Because everyone in Twitch chats like mega B, uh, mega BM. And all they do is complain about like every shoutcaster, except for like one. Whose name is like Harris. Harris. <laughs> I don't know, wait, what was his name? Harrison. Um, Harrison, there we go. I almost wanted to say Harrison Ford. <laughs> but that's not a candidate thing, I don't think. Yeah, do y'all have Harrison Fords? <laughs> uh This is this is Comedic. I love Twitch Shed so much. I wish I knew these people in real life. <laughs> but I'm also happy I don't. We feel like they're all like really salt tryhards. <laughs> I still okay. can't tell if they're banning real things. I can't. I mean, Lucian is an okay ban. Like, that's yeah. a good ADC. I, I, I will agree that's a good ADC. I'm also surprised, um, Supreme hasn't banned anything from last game. But they did actually take Kog'Maw, so that's good, and Lulu. <laughs> but we do have that Janna Darius bot lane, which, as you we saw before- Draven? Tra <laughs> I'm gonna die! <laughs> ah! That was hilarious. I, I like that. I don't Darius. know why I said Darius. Janna Darius! Can someone, like, quote Darius. that? <laughs> someone quote that in the Twitch chat, please. Fucking Darius ADC guys, let's do this. Come on and slam, and welcome to Japan. <laughs> oh god. Apparently they are trolling, and yeah. they would empty ban if they could. <laughs> that's really sad. That's... I feel like that's like some level of BM, but... Yeah. I can't I say, do I say much. everything's BM because I'm just, I'm just a sensitive person, man. I'm a very sensitive person. You're a sensitive person. That's, that's what I just said. Oh yeah. Okay, I think they're doing Cho'Gath jungle again, which actually I wouldn't be too mad at. That was that was an okay Cho'Gath jungle. It was just a bad situation for the team as a whole. Ooh, and an Urgot. Ooh. Against a Teemo? Ooh, baby. Urgot versus. I mean, that's the thing though. So like, Urgot does have a lot to use, especially because like, even if Teemo blinds him, his knees, his, his knees aren't considered knees... auto attacks. Right. So like, and his knees do insane damage <laughs> when you just slowly walk around someone, kind of like what Fiora does. Yeah, he'll he'll just have to be careful about the blinds. I mean, see, the thing is, Kurga can also close gaps pretty well. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of like a decent bit of mobility, a decent bit of damage. His ultimate's also good because even if he's blinded, if Timo goes under twenty percent health, he's dead, just straight dead. Mm-hmm. So it's good for taking out people like Yasuo and Darius, because, especially Yasuo since he's so mobile, if he just hits his ult on him once, it doesn't matter where Yasuo is. The second he dips too low, he's just dead. And see, that's the, that's the one I like about Urgot, it's really easy to secure those runners. Instead of them getting away with no health, they get away dead. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, mad respect. I actually, it's interesting though, cause like Urgot can be built kind of like a, a kind of kind of tanky, right? You can build him a little tanky, or you can build him like just full damage. Either way, 
the only tank uh, Team Challenge just has is Galio, and he... I don't know, he may just go full AP. They might be going that troll. But it's, it's just interesting, because both team comps are still pretty good. Full AP. This Twitch chat is just... I don't know why people suggest the song. Song requests song are weird. Through Dankstorm, Sandstorm, sorry, not Dankstorm. <laughs> uh, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. I'm very tired. Look, people, people are weird. They have weird choices in music, and you can't judge them for it. Just let them live their lives. Wait, why is he a moderator? I don't know. Remove his moderator abilities. How do I do that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're in music waiting room. Exactly. You know, we should put on some like nice elevator. I think the stream froze. Did it freeze? Or am I just... Uh... Stream froze? Yes. Interesting. Okay. So, while she tries her best to fix it, there we go, she fixed it. What a god. Everyone, give her a medal. Or like 20 bucks, one of the two. I think it's frozen again. Yeah, it is. I think I might have to close some stuff. It, it just freezes, it, like, it refreshes and freezes. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you think's gonna go on this game? Do you think maybe Supreme is a better chance, or do you think it's just gonna be a, another wipe? Mm, I think Supreme will probably win early. Like they did the last time? Mm hmm. And then slowly die. It was supposedly Challengers is trolling, so. Yeah. I know that the people playing on that team are already like cocky people, so like mm -hmm. they're just naturally cocky, I don't know. Well, you know what they say, the cockier you are, the more people will slowly hate you and wish you dead. Right. Resident sleeper in this uh, music waiting room right now. <laughs> okay. And we are off. As League of Legends slowly opens. I'm actually interested because uh, I, I would have loved to see Ian's TF, but... It is a beautiful sight to see. It is. Maybe he'll play in the next series because this is not a losing match. This is in the winner bracket. Maybe, maybe, maybe his team will beg him to do it. Maybe he'll play this game as Zerath and just like one v five, one v five level one. You know, right now he just ults in Nexus. You know, killing everyone instantly. Obviously, Kog'Maw has the best skin ever. Which one is it? Pug'Maw, duh. <gasps> that is the best one. I agree. Battlecast is pretty good too, though. Mm -hmm. New Battlecast is really good, in my opinion. New Battlecast? Is there an update? Uh, I think they made it like slightly cleaner. Oh, that's good, that's good. It's like, it's like barely noticeable. It's only noticeable if you actually like really focus in on it. So one thing I did actually notice just now that I was gonna mention uh, during loading, but we had the weird pausing, was um we got a Yasuo jungle. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That's yes. pretty troll, but I'm scared. I feel like he'll still be able to do it. Yeah, probably. Um, he got GBM. No, What's it's GBM? Open. I legitimately have no idea. Okay. Uh, Gambino basic maneuvers. <laughs> I 
I'm more curious because I tried Yasuo Jungle when he was first released and it was really fun. But I haven't seen anyone do it since. So I'm curious, even if this is Troll, how well he'll do. And uh, this Urgot's playing exactly he'll be as if he was Teemo. <laughs> able to go on the Kogma and pick him out. Probably, yeah, he's going to be very mobile. If Kogma can uh, kite him, I think he'll be in a pickle, though. That depends on the situation. If Kogma's running and minions come, Yashiro just gets free mobility. That's true. I don't think Ian knows how to dodge Galio cues. <laughs> Like, know. people usually try to dodge back, but you have to dodge forward. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. It's just different, because usually, yeah. Because they don't actually uh, collide within the center area. Yeah. Oh, he got level 2 first. He has a little bit Ooh, of an doing extra... some damage to Galio, but Galio just kind of like shaking it off and continuing to farm without even caring. Right. Galio's passive for farming in the mid lane is so good. I love it. Top lane's kind of going in a little bit, like, they're having a little bit of a back and forth right now. At when, even right now. That's actually really bad for Urgot when he blinds, because when he lands his... Uh, e. E. They're fighting right now. Urgot's doing a lot of damage. That's true. Also, uh, Urgot's W gives him a uh, shield. Yasuo that's coming to gank him. Urgot. Will he be able to grab anything? I don't know. They both flash, Urgot and Yasuo. That was three flashes just for one first blood. Was it, it worth it? It could be a lot. It could be a lot. It is first blood gold, uh, gold towards Teemo, and that could just help him snowball into victory. He also uh, started Dorn Shield. Oh, okay. So he went the tankier route, it seems. Yeah. Which I guess is smart against Urgot, because Urgot does have a lot of damage early. Cho'Gat coming in bot lane. Mm. Landing, um, uh, will they be able to secure anything? They might actually be able to grab the Jenny here, or they're just gonna focus their way onto Darius, and Darius is gonna slowly just chunk Cho'Gath. No, Chogat. that's Chogat Draven! will not be able to survive. This- Why do I keep saying Darius? <laughs> Either way, Draven has survived against the Cho'Gath using Barrier, and now using Flash, but will he be able to survive Cogball? No. Ooh. That was very close, though. Draven, if it wasn't for the fact that Kogma recovered from getting hit with his uh, E the... so quickly, he would have been so dead. Right. I don't know why I keep saying Darius over Draven. I'm so sorry. <laughs> trying, to, okay. trying to speak a little fast, nicely thinking about what I'm saying, means I'll like slip up at times, so don't yell at me. Yeah, same. I'm a fragile soul. Urgot grabs Teemo, uses his W and trying to like do as much damage as he can, but I don't know if he'll be able to. Teemo is just trying to fight back. Mm. Teemo walks away alive though. Urgot on the other hand is going to try to farm as much as he can. Because he has to get a farm lead in order to stay even with Teemo. Because right now the farm difference between them is 400 gold. Yasuo is actually doing a lot of work for Yasuo Jungle. Mm. I agree. Cho'Gath is also doing a lot of work, too. Cho'Gath just cancelled Galio's E. Right, I think Galio really may be dead here. Galio is dead. Ian, I mean, uh, Zareth getting his second kill this game. That's a really good league on him. Lead. Mm -hmm. That he really needs. Especially to. against Galio, who's usually more focused against tanking AP characters. Right. I think between these two teams, what defines the game is late game. I agree. Oh, and yeah. player skill. Right, yeah. Because, like, a good Urgot can shut down a good uh, a Teemo, but a good Teemo can always just fight back as much as he can. Urgot grabs Teemo again, but Teemo just uses a speed boost to run out of the fight. Urgot trying to do as much as he can, but he's low on mana, so I don't know how much he's going to be able to do. So Teemo just walking and shooting at him relentlessly. Urgot dies. Urgot so really Gath needs not... to watch his mana when he gets into fights like that. Yeah, Urgot, Urgot is a little bit mana hungry, I've noticed, in all my time playing him as a jungler. Right. You gotta be careful with your mana. Zeref is doing Bali pretty is good just... in lane. I, I actually will admit, yeah, he is. 
He was a little he was a little rocky at first, but I think now he's kind of learned. Galio goes on Zerath. Let's see if he can secure anything, but he cannot. He got a he little bit of damage. With an ace. Yeah, but Zerath does so much damage, it's just he just evened the fight basically. Right. He also got level six before Galio. I'm curious what he's gonna try to do with that. He might not actually do anything with that because of his health right now. True. It would take Galio doing something really stupid. Yeah. Or Cho'Gath right. making a god play, which I don't think he's going to be able to do. Galio's way too far away. <laughs> Cho'Gath is kind of predictable with his ganks. But that was also yeah. warded. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, you can't really blame him much for that. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, bot lane. Kog'Maw does have a, a kill advantage, but Draven does have more farm. So it is kind of even bot lane. And top lane is just in Teemo's favor right now. He not only has a farm advantage, he also has kill advantage, and I don't know if Urgai can really fight him. Um, Kog'Maw needs to step on a CS game, though. True. 37 CS, less than his top laner. Right. His jungler almost is the same amount as him, and that's that's pretty bad. Draven going in. Ooh, but getting transmog... whatever that word is. I don't know if they'll be able to actually catch anything, but that... Godlike Janna Tornado almost almost securing the Kog'Maw kill, but it just wasn't enough because of tower. It looks like Galio was almost dead as well. And so is well that there was a fight mid lane with both junglers and Ergot actually lives through that. He almost died to poison. There's so many fights going on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but okay, so the fight mid lane was with uh, not only both mid laners but both junglers. Both mid laners almost died, but they both just walked away, and both junglers just kind of sat there for a while. Cho uh, Kog'Maw is being just destroyed. They That tower will not do anything to save them. They are both... Ooh. He accidentally... I think he just accidentally attacked the tower. But will he be able to survive? Oh, that tower's going to shoot... Oh, oh the Janna with Janna. the clutch hole. Janna, Janna, which one is it? I say I Janna. Know. I guess it's... I don't know. I've, said, I've been calling her Janna for so long. Let's see, what is Urgot trying to do? I think he was trying to throw a Yasuo into the turret, but I don't think it worked. Yasuo catches Urgot in an ultimate. Ooh! Almost oh, rep survived. buff kills him. Rep, rip, red buff. Uh, Chogath tries to do something, but I don't think he's going to be able to do anything here. Unless he catches someone else with his Q. Darn. Urgot, Urgot tried really hard. Zerath kind of poking down Galio here. Right. Bringing him down to half health, but Galio is a pretty resilient champion. He's That's pretty... what I like about him. Yeah. Like, Galio, as a jungler, just feels fun. Because of his Q and his, like, just natural tank, Yasuo, I think, is going to try to steal Blue Buff from Cho'Gath, but it's just really confusing and back and forth right now. Teemo's stealing Cho'Gath's red. Ooh, is this a fight bot lane? Is Yasuo gonna get caught? No, he's not. Draven walks in, just trying to catch his axes and doing as much as he can. Ooh. Catching- oh, catching three people in his ult. Draven takes down both Cho'Gath and Kog'Maw Lulu, gets to Draven, he though. falls to Kog'Maw. Will he be able to do anything? Oh, Galio doing tons of damage. Will Zerath be able to do anything here? I don't think so. Maybe an ultimate? Oh, but that puts him in a really bad position. He is basically a sitting duck and about to die. Rip Zerath. I'm that was a... not sure where he was aiming, honestly. That was that was a gamble. They had no vision on it, though. But then again, Galio did hit the, uh, the scrying plant. So he did basically reveal himself. I don't know what Ian was trying to do there. Yeah, me neither. Because just... he basically left, him, he left himself as a sitting duck. Yeah, To right. two people who can just, like, attack on the other side of the wall. Which was not the smartest plan, but it could have paid off if he was if he actually had like good vision on them. Right. Because Zerath's ult does do good damage per uh, per right. hit. Yeah. So, Galio's gonna just start attacking this turret. I wonder if he's gonna be able to take it down. Oh, my game froze. There we go. That was weird. It's okay. As long as my game doesn't freeze, it's all good. Uh, what time are you at? 10.58. I'm like two seconds behind. Aww. Let me bring up time controls real quick. 
Okay. I'm at 11.10 right now. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> okay, good. It's still a little bit off, but... Uh... Galio going in. God, Galio does so much damage. I think Cho'Gath may die- not Cho'Gath. God, <laughs> I may die here. I am very tired, apparently. The thing about I'm... the Xerath lane is that he doesn't really need to worry about his mana because of his passive. Yeah, Xerath has really good uh, mana economy. I guess if people economy. only use big words. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, yeah you so never heard of, you trying never heard to... of the term mana economy? Excuse you? No, I've never heard of that. Uh, Can Urgot 2v1 this? Such a bad... No, I don't think Urgot will be able to 2v1 this. And that's he doesn't have, he doesn't have a lot star. of damage in Teemo. Teemo and Yasuo just have way too much mobility against them. That's true. The thing about Zerath, and this is kind of what I like about Zerath, is he has a lot of range. So he doesn't need to put himself in a bad position most of the time to uh, do damage. Right. Especially with his cube being pretty much the entire screen. The entire screen. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. I meant like in length, alright? If you charge his Q, it pretty much goes the entire screen. In length. Falling just can't do anything. That was a really long flash. Well, it's because she, when she flashed, she was on the other... She was... More on the other side of the wall, so just push her that way. Yeah, but you still... You know, the mechanics of the game... You would know this if you weren't bronze. <gasps> he actually kills <laughs> the Galio. I'm sorry, that's not what I'm supposed to do on stream, but like I couldn't help it. Um, that was a good slide. That was yeah, a good slide. That was that was max range. Beautiful Zerath plays by uh by Pringles here. <laughs> I I did not know he was this much of a god. So I went to Walmart one time and mm. I found mysterious Pringles. Was he just was he just standing there in the aisle staring at you? No. It was like, you know, the chip box, you know? You mean tube? Tube, yeah, tube. <laughs> it was They actually have Pringles in Canada? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry, I thought Canadians just got Wi Fi, so What do you mean? <laughs> Cogma versus Timo, Cogma will fall, he cannot fight that Timo. That Timo's blind is just way too much for an ADC this, at this moment in time. Draven has too much lifesteal, he can just lifesteal the poke that Xerath gives. That's depressing. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a full tier 7 bot lane. I just realized. Yeah, I just realized that too. Can Urgot fight Galio? His W took all the damage from that combo. Let's see what happens. Interesting, dude, Urgot is doing a lot of damage to this Galio, and Galio's trying to run, but... Oh, he does, he gets away. Man, that was actually surprising. Yeah. Urgot has the ability to just fight and destroy this Galio. If only he gets to do a good position, and Galio's trying to pull him into tower, but Urgot oh, chains him in and drags him into his belly. Is it actually his see. belly? Yes. Oh, I thought he just ate him. No. When, Ur uh, when Urgot ults, his body, like his legs and his body, inside there are like these two uh, grinders that he'll like open up and show the grinders and he'll grind the person. Kagwa falls to Yasuo. Yasuo is just slicing and dicing through Cho'Gath and uh... Lulu shield poor, very clutch. Poor. Huh? If not for the Lulu shield, shield, uh, Cho'Gath would have died. To red buff? Mm-hmm. Red buff feels a lot of damage. Uh, that might top be turret to... was just lost for Team Supreme. Urgot might be able to get the spot tower, but yeah, he does. Ooh, Urgot actually has a lot of tower shredding ability. Lulu will just get destroyed by Draven here. Rest in peace, Lulu. This Draven has a lot of power. And he just life steals tower shots, but he will die. He got really greedy there. Right. It's good that Xerath slowed him under tower. I agree. I did not know that Jolly Ranchers made a starburst. Like, uh, candy. Really? Mm hmm. Wait, I didn't amazing. know that either. Oh. Kogma is Kogma's in a about very to get bad. caught out before. Between four people, Urgot has also put himself in a really bad position. Will he be able to escape? Yes, he will. He escaped the Galio taunt. All of them were just in a really bad position. Mm hmm. Urgot was lucky he was able to get out of there. Right. Mm 
Man, this Urgot is just. Hold on, I have to BRB for a second. Oh my god. Mandy, abandoning the stream well, like a professional. Now y'all are stuck with me and just me. No more female appeal here. Because I know that's what all of y'all want, right? Face cam and everything? <laughs> okay, enough jokes. This is just... That was a bad position for Jenna. She got caught out there. Poor, poor Jenna. Kogma is trying to hold off top lane, though. There was a pretty big push there. And Galio is a little caught if he's not careful. Timo goes to fight Kogma. And Kogma was able to escape back to tower before Timo could really kill him. This is a difficult fight right now for Team Supreme. What did I miss? So, uh, nothing really insane. Janna got kind of caught. Galio was in a somewhat mad position. And uh, Timo tried to kill Kogma, but Kogma was a little too fast for him. Alright. Ian is really uh, ahead. I mean, mm -hmm. Zeraf is really ahead right now. Mm -hmm. Five and one. Doing a really good job. Mm hmm. See, but that's the thing. The Yasuo is five and oh. The jungle Yasuo is five and oh, which is kind of surprising. Right. I, mean, I, ha I don't see a lot of Yasuo jungle. But they're but just... not actually that far behind in kills. Mm hmm. <laughs> It's only 9 kills, and Galio's in a kind of bad position here. He had to flash. And he goes on Zerath. Zerath is dead. Rest in peace, Zerath. Galio probably risks his life for that. Rest in peace. I don't think Zerath expected that from the Galio. Um, I would agree. But, like, that was a really good play on Galio. I don't know what Urgot's trying to do. Kogma is just being, like, 1v1 by Timo right now. Barely escaping. No, he dies to the poison. Never mind. Urgot's like trying Urgot his best to run, but he will here. not be able to. That is way too much range. Oh, but he does have a shield, but he won't be. Oh, Lulu's Lulu shield. shield saving his life. Okay, this Lulu is a god. She is just saving her team's life right now. Right. And Timo is just walking through turret without caring at all. <sighs> Timo is just... Man, that's just Draven and Timo have a lot of range. It's hard to really run away from them. Right. Team Supreme doesn't really have... Teemo just does not care. He is just going to fight in their base. Try to secure anything he can. Will he die? Yes, he will. Cho'Gath consuming him. But he'll like also get that he is. the barrier. From True, he did get a barrier, and he did distract. He did distract Team Supreme enough for Galio to take top tower. And for uh, mid tower to get extremely low, right? Using using the sweeping lens and still getting hit by that uh, shroom was a bit surprising. Yeah, he probably tried to, but then like accidentally walked over it. That happens. That tends to happen. But they do. Yasuo does pretty much one v one the wind dragon, air drake, whatever you want to call it. Cloud drake. That little, huh? Cloud drake, wind drake, air dragon. Uh, Cloud drake. Ice tea dragon. Ice tea. I want ice tea now. <laughs> Good. I actually all I have is root beer and boudin. Can I have ice tea? Uh, sorry, I am like over a thousand miles away from you. I think. It'd be like five hundred, five hundred to a thousand. Can you like mail me some? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna mail you iced tea. Why not? Because it won't be cold. <laughs> I'll just refrigerate it. God damn it. Zareth is being tower dove by the Draven and Janna, and he is dead. Yasuo goes on Lulu. Lulu is about to fall, and so will Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath is dead, and so is Kogma. It is all falling apart. Urgot's in a bad position. I don't think he'll be able to survive this. No, he will not. Galio is just Thor right now. He does get the Draven, though. Ooh, he does get the Draven. Wow. Out of nowhere, killing the Draven, the top inhibitor tower will he fall. He ulted him. And so will top inhibitor. So what I actually didn't realize, and I noticed this once, is that um, if you kill Urgot, at like, in between the person getting consumed and like them being pulled, it will completely cancel the ult. But it's like a short window, because the like time it takes for them to be dragged in is pretty quick. Yeah. 
So, like, it can happen, but it's... You gotta be really quick with it, that's the thing. Timo juking they, everything. Timo is just speed god right now. Janna and Galio coming in from the other side. Lulu almost dying. Urgot trying his best to try to push them off, but the thing is, his W hits the closest thing, unless that thing is hit with his Q. So it's like, unless though, it hits the closest thing, unless he hits champion with his Q. So like, using your W near minions, trying to fight a champion is difficult for the most part. Because you'll end up wasting time. I need to like slow down and actually think of what I'm saying. Yeah. Because they're I, I'm trying way too hard to be fast and not actually like think. What is Yasuo trying to do here? Oh, uh, I think he's trying to kill the Kogma. Yeah. He's trying to catch the Kogma, but it's just he got transmogrified before anything. Trans Transmoglio. Draven is being one v two, almost killing Urgot, but Urgot's ult basically saves them. Oh no, Zareth got hit with the Team Mushroom, will he be able to survive it? Oh, Lulu! Lulu shield doesn't actually help because the poison ended, but it was worth the effort. A for effort. <laughs> A for effort. Even though effort spelled with an E. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh, I didn't... Oh my... I didn't... You know what? This is fine. What's fine? What's this wrong? Is, this is fine. Did you mess up? <laughs> No, I just didn't realize that. You didn't realize effort was spelled with an E? No! <laughs> that, that's what I, I kind of... Galio is just 1v2ing right now, but he will pretty much die because he overestimated his power. Questionable flash from the choke after. I mean, the, the kill was pretty much secured. Any flash was probably an attempt to KS. <laughs> probably. Because Kogma's range is pretty insane when you think about it. So, like, it could have been the KS, it could have been to, like, be a backup secure. But this Urgot basically walks into the Yasuo, almost costing him his life. Chogath is in a bad position here. Will he be able to escape? He will because of Lulu. Lulu the god. Urgot's trying to recall. Ooh, but he canceled it. I think he thought the uh, Yasuo tornado was going to hit him. Yeah. Janna taking tower so they can do a little bit of damage to it. Draven! Wow! That was a lot of damage, from what it seems. Then again, Lulu was kind of off my screen. Yeah, the same. inhibitor tower, yeah. The mid inhibitor tower will fall, and so will mid inhibitor, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Draven's kind of taking a lot of aggro from the entire team, but Janna is trying to keep her Draven alive. Urgot dies to Yasuo in Teemo, which I don't know why he tried to fight that. Kogma Kogma has gets fallen. Three shot. Oh, uh, rest in peace, Kogma. Mid inhibitor is down. They are now going for the Nexus. This may be it. I do not know. Timo is really low, though, so they might be able to secure a kill off that. This was a what? little less of a stomp, I would say. Okay, no. A little, never... a little less of a stomp, but still a stomp. Like, yeah. This is this is really hard for Team Supreme to come back from. Even even if mid lane like, did as well as it did and even better, it's still really hard because the rest of the team is not on par with their counterpart. Like, the Yasuo is 7-0. He right. hasn't died once, so he's extremely Last powerful game, right now. Everything... The Draven's 12-5. and five. The Last... Teemo's 6-2. and two. It's, it's just hard for them. Yeah. The farm is also extremely different. Like, Draven has 183. Kogma only has 81. I mean, Yasuo has 183 farm. Chogath only has 84. So it's like, the farm difference along with the kill difference, it doesn't matter. It's just, Team Challengers is a lot of power right now. And the only way Team Supreme can really win this is if they can hold off long enough to really build up more items and get some more gold. Mm -hmm. But they just get, get tired. A, I've... Yeah, I mean, they'll get tired. But like if they don't, and they have a good team fight where they kind of catch everyone a little off guard, they could probably pull this off. But see, that's a lot of ifs. Yeah. That's gonna be a little hard. That's gonna be a little hard, especially little since, hard. like, Yasuo hasn't hit his cap yet. Right. And neither has Draven. Teemo caps at a certain point, and after that, Teemo becomes a little useless. But, like, for right now, Teemo has enough advantage to where he's he is useful, especially with his, uh, shrooms. <sighs> oh, Urgot tried to do something with the Draven, but Draven just was way too much damage for Urgot. 
I don't know what Urgot's trying to do there. What is Cho'Gath trying to do? They're just trickling in on this Draven, so Draven's just taking them out one by one. This is going to secure the game. Draven one hits freaking Kog'Ma. Oh my god. Draven is dead, but only to Kog'Ma's passive. Galio uses ult there to, I guess, try to help, but it really didn't really do much. Yeah, because of the Kog'Ma passive. It's just like... The thing is, I think Galio's ult a certain time pretty much all around. Distance doesn't really affect it They're too getting much fountain them, dived. Apparently. Fountain dived? Yeah. Fountain dived? Fountain... oh. <laughs> Fou fountain divin? <laughs> well, that's <it's> game two. <laughs> Uh, rest in peace, Supreme. Rest in peace, Supreme. They tried their hardest, but it was just the late game of team uh, challengers that did not allow them to really come out on top here. Right. Now, Team Supreme will be in... So, are we going to do interviews, or is this just... Oh my god, look at that Urgot build. I just realized. Oh, uh, it's all tears. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm crying for him. Uh, I, speaking the truth, preach, Lamal. What are you saying, Ian? I don't know anymore. Uh, let's get that Ian interview, though. That's what... Ah, yes. <laughs> let's get that Ian interview. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, I, can't, I can't wait. Oh, you're so, Ian. Hi. Yeah, we're just going to pull you in like that Urgot pulls in all of his rape victims. What? Oh, well. All right, mm. then. Hey, hey. So, uh, we saw you with that Zerath. You trolled us. How could yeah. you? We both yeah, wanted we both wanted you to go twisted fate. Yeah, you got I know you did. How <laughs> could yeah. that? I'm so sad. I was like I was listening to the, the first game and Mandy Mandy was like, Oh I hope he goes TF. I'm just like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you wish. That's so sad. I will admit though that Zerath was actually really good against the Galio. You were able to keep a lot of good distance against uh, uh against him and even though he did a lot of damage, you were just far you were far enough away to where it didn't really matter. Game one, the guy I land against the, the Fizz. Uh, mm -hmm. eh. We were concerned about that because I know usually Karthus versus Fizz that, is a matchup. Fizz is favorite. That is definitely a losing matchup, but that guy doesn't. What I was doing, if he's listening to this, is every time he was going, to, I was going to see every time he goes to see us, place mm -hmm. a queue where he has to stand. So I, he basically has to make a choice, and he was choosing to take the CS every time and take the damage. <laughs> oh yeah, you were doing you were doing like I don't know if you saw two that. to three hundred damage per Q at like one point. And I was I'm really sitting... concerned about him hitting six and all winning me, and then he just took like four Qs and he's at oh my god twenty percent. And I'm like, no, I was I was I was wow. There were multiple moments where that Fizz tried to do something, and it you you were on top of him. <laughs> the first Karthus game was like, I think you did really well personally. I mean, I know you're Karthus, and I know how I... well you can do. I can't stick damage I, on Excalibur though, he's too much. He's too like he's too good. <laughs> I get oh him. yeah, but still as a whole, I, I think I you did really well in both games. I see why Team Supreme chose you to be their like top tier mid laner. Yeah. Cause compared to the rest of the team, I think you're the best one there. Maybe I'll give them the TF next time, or maybe I'll just troll you again. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like softly roast them real quick. What? You, you had like the best lead out of everyone on your team on both games. Right. I don't know. I didn't pay much attention. No, I think the first know. game it was mostly Timo. Yeah, was top, it? Lane, top lane won pretty hard first game, I think. Yeah. Good point, actually. Yeah. But um, other than that, you know, uh, you you told me before the game started that everything was really ear rapey in your uh your chat with your team. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate? What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, get somebody else. I'm moving. Okay. <laughs> okay. He messaged me saying, I already have ear cancer. Holy shit, my team. <laughs> oh, I don't know who to pull in. Rest in peace, Ian. We wanted to, I wanted to ask him more questions, but he rudely left. I know. What a scrub lord. Let's get, let's get to this guy. Hello. Who's this guy? Who's the chicken? What? Hello. Hello. What's this? Oh, you're being interviewed forcefully against your own will. Okay. So, um, how you feeling? Uh, that was too easy, honestly. Okay, oh, so you're no. already starting off with the BM. Yeah. Nice to know, nice to know. Yeah, I inted, but like, but like, they still couldn't win. Yikes. Did you love, did you love your lanes, though? Were you having uh, fun? Yeah, it was pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty good. 
So what you say would be the hardest part about the games you just played? Was it the inting or was it just... Like, I had to, I had to hide the inting a bit so it wasn't too obvious so they wouldn't notice, but like... Yeah, that's about it. Who triggered you the most throughout that entire game? Huh? You said you were inting, so I mean like... Uh... Cause I'm just an unskilled player, that's probably why. Okay. I don't know, sometimes inting is because you get triggered, sometimes inting is because, you know... No, other I'm reasons. just very unskilled. So, um, well, that makes sense, you know. Unskilled, but will still be toxic against his other teammates, because, you know, that's just what he does. No, I was the one that did. <laughs> My team just carried me. <laughs> hmm. So you were the uh, mid laner, correct? Uh, no. I was jungle the first game, and then, and then we swapped. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What do you think of the second game, though? It seemed a little bit closer than the first one. Really? The, a little bit. 20,000 gold lead would, would suggest otherwise, but, uh... And well, we ended four minutes faster. <sighs> Shut up. Time doesn't matter. What matters is fun. Oh, my bad. bad. Alright? It seemed like both of y'all were having fun, alright? Even though in the second right. game, y'all seemed really cocky. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You fucking talking in chat, we saw. Huh? Which chat? What? Fake news. <laughs> Fake. Okay, Trump. Goodbye. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, They're boring. What boring people to talk to. You're boring. Fight me. I'm a 1v1 right now. Are you biased, James? Am I biased? Why would I be biased? I don't know. I... Who would I be biased against? We can't. You guys are biased. Uh, we're not biased. <laughs> not, you guys love me? Oh no, <laughs> we love you because you're like our actual friend. I don't know yeah, any know. of these other people. I know that's why you're biased. <laughs> How can I be biased? <laughs> bias would be like knowing both people but caring more for one. I only know you. Yeah, so you don't know them, so you don't care for them, but you care for me. I never so said I don't care for them. I never said I don't oh. care for them. Okay. Alright then. Seems good. I just said I don't know them. I was trying to talk to the other guy, but he was just being really uh, quiet. Also, did I have to go? Wait, what? Yeah, he has to go. Bye, Ian. Anyways. <laughs> so, that's it. That's it. Yeah? Okay. Bye. Go, go no, away. Look, wait. <laughs> <laughs> more questions for me, right? No, 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 go away. Yes, why? Are... No, 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 yeah, no, go I'm away. Sure you did. Okay. Hey, hey. No, uh... no, 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 go away. <laughs> go away. Wait. This is straight wait, wait, comedy. Wait, 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 wait don't, what's don't, going on? Don't do it. Wait, wait, stop, stop. Okay, what? Wait, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> We're gonna ask me? Ask me, ask me. Fire away. Okay. Uh, why are you biased? What? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, I'm a Shinder. Anyway, uh, I didn't actually have a question for you. Okay. Um, I was just gonna roast you. So, no. Oh, okay. Uh, roast me. Uh, <laughs> why the fuck did you cut your hair? <laughs> oh. I don't know. You went from looking like Slash, the amazing guitarist, to I need to speak to your manager. I got nothing. Oh, I, think yeah, like, I, think, I think that was partially the effect of y'all losing. Because y'all cut your hair, you lost the skill that you originally had. True. Wait, I think over that period of time, I actually have gotten worse, so, uh... <clears throat> it was all the hair. You got some basis for that, yeah. Mm. Um, no, but whoever says we're biased, it's not because... If anything, Mandy's biased. Because I just, I... Huh? You, you can't be biased against something you have no idea of. Every time I listen, I hear you guys talking about me. <laughs> Open, and I and I'm listening to it, and every time I like turn my ear right, I hear it. <laughs> I hear either my name, or my Zara? account name, or my champion name. Well, because there was a. I mean, okay. But you I were mean, doing like, a lot of shit during those games about me. You're doing a lot of shit during those games. Yeah. So like know. during during the game, we talked a lot about you because you had like. The jungler in your lane, a decent bit. You were kind of roaming a decent bit with the Karthus at some point, I remember, I think. Uh, 
And you were doing really good against the Galio. Uh, and also the other lanes were a little bit resident sleeper, not gonna lie. Okay. Except bot lane. Bot lane was always a little interesting. Especially yeah. the Rakan versus Zaya one. They were being kind of aggressive, but it was fun to watch. I kind of want to... Hmm. No, never mind. Just what? Kidding. What? Yeah, Wait, what? Uh, you you going to talk shit? Uh, uh, okay, bye, uh, Ian. No. No. <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> Is the stream over yet, or are we still sitting here just doing bullshit? Okay, okay, we're leaving. The stream will open at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, bye, bye. guys.